Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next attack strategy video. And uh, it's been a little while since I've done an attack strategy video, and um, might have a number of them coming out soon because there's a whole new uh, dragon, you know, Queen Walk, Zap Quake, dragon attack at Town Hall 9. Uh, there's a surgical go we at Town Hall 9. And there's also this, the Mass Witch strategy at Town Hall 9, which is. Very, it's very cool to see all these new types of strategies come out because um, they're they're all effective in their own ways and uh, it, it really frees up the attacker to choose you know how to pick apart a base and just really choose the right attack for each base. But anyway, uh, we're gonna take a look at a few Town Hall Nine uh, Mass Witch attacks. Talk about where, what base you want to do it on and how you want to do it. So. Uh, the first thing you should look for is kind of an open base. If it's too compartmentalized, it's not going to be good. Too many walls for your witches to have to uh, go through. And uh, it helps to have a lot of jump spells. You can see Spartan here is bringing four jump spells. Uh, so this entire base is pretty much going to be opened up. Now, a lot of times, actually almost all the time, you're going to want to have a queen walk. Uh, to some extent, or at least some hogs. The idea is that you're going to try to take out all the splash damage, and you can see right here, look where the splash damage is. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the eight is all on that left side, all accessible to a queen who walks like that. Um, there's these two right here, but you know, if he, if he sends in all his witches, and we're talking, what, five witches plus two in the CC, so seven witches, all coming through here with golems out in front, especially at the beginning of the push, um, these aren't going to be an issue. I mean, there's way too many witches, golems, wizards, the king. There's just way too much there. Um, and I believe he sends a few hogs in here to take out that mortar. So basically, the idea here is you, you're almost always going to want to do a queen walk. But if you see that all the splash damage is kind of concentrated on one side of the base, or at least it's all on the outside so you can target it with some hogs, uh, you, can, you can get the job done pretty easily. Um, if you do a queen walk to take out some of the splash damage, and maybe drop you know two hogs on each mortar, three hogs on the mortar, two to three hogs on a wizard tower, and just take out those splash damage, and the witches um, are going to do very well against just expos, archers, towers, teslas, cannons, all that stuff that does point uh, defense damage, because they spawn the skeletons so fast and in such big numbers, um, the point defense can't keep up with the number of skeletons. So this is a great base to do it on, but like I kind of already said, starts the queen walk, descends her down this way, uh, you know, getting all this splash damage taken out. Uh, it does take a little while, and then I believe he comes in with the witches here, just drops a jump, lets the witches come in, and then has a few jumps just to let them move all around the base. Um, I don't remember where he drops all four of the jumps specifically, but I think he might drop one down here. Uh, just let them keep making their way forward. Uh, and then we're going to look at one more attack after Spartans, but we'll start with his attack. Uh, what he does, what is really nice here, is as the witches are making their way through here, drops, like I said, a few hogs right in this mortar, gets it taken out, and obviously this wizard tower will go down real quick to all the troops he's sending in. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this attack as it actually happened, and then we'll keep moving forward. Alright, so let's load up the game really quickly. This comes from the war with uh, Cold September, which I will... I'll make sure to do a, re a recap of this one, but for right now, just doing the attack strategy video, I uh, just happened to be in this order. So anyway, starting off with Spartan's attack, uh, goes ahead and drops the queen down, like I said. Um, pretty easy funnel, just drops a wizard there, and she's going to make her way up uh, to the west. Not No issue of her walking around. She'll step up. You can see the three splash damage, all accessible to her right there. Um, and not, not even that much point defense, so only needs three healers. Uh, which is really nice. You don't want to have to bring too many healers. Four is usually a maximum for this one, just because the queen is not entering the base, so not going to be a whole lot for her to take out. But right here, steps up and takes out the mortar, and then she'll continue on her walk. So, uh, drops a few hogs right there. Uh, take out that archer tower. Oh, well, actually, yeah. oh no, get the CC lurks. I, I was wondering if the, if the archer tower was uh, was out of range of the CC, but apparently not. But I uh, didn't mention this part, just lures out the CC, has a poison, uh, drops it, takes out the archers, 
Queen will get the dragon taken out despite that air sweeper pushing the healers back. So no big deal there. No point defense on her. Now here come the witches and the golems. Just basically spreading out the witches a little bit, which is nice just to make sure the skeletons kind of go through, not all in one huge wad. Then drops a few witches to, or a few wizards to create the funnel, but has the jump. Everything's moving forward. A uh, few hogs, like I said, in that on the mortar is great. And he's okay to start with his witches before the queen takes out all the stuff on her walk, just because they're not at that part of the base yet. So uh, she has time. She get, she can continue to walk, and then she'll get to those last two splash damage in just a moment. That wizard tower is stuck on the golems, which is great, especially at the beginning of the attack. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the splash damage because the golems should be still healthy and out in front. Uh, drops that first jump, or the second jump, excuse me. You can let them into all those compartments in different parts of the base. Um, Teslas are popping, but no big deal. As long as the witches don't hit a giant bomb, like I believe they hit up top, uh, they're really good. But usually the skeletons get far enough out in front that the giant bombs don't affect the witches. Uh, drops last, or the third jump right there. Not really much of a need there, but just lets the witches up top connect uh, with the main group. King is still up, uh, drops that last jump. Doesn't even really need all the jumps. They could have beat through some of these walls on their own. Uh, but it's nice to be able to have access to this whole base. Let's everything move forward just a little bit quicker. So the queen's going to continue on her walk and finish up here. The great thing about this attack is if you do it right, you're going to have a ton of troops left over. Uh, all those skeletons just making their way through. Pops the queen's ability and gets this last or gets these last few buildings taken out. Uh, nice attack to Spartan. Awesome example of how to do this attack strategy. So I don't want to beat this one dead too much, uh, just because uh, there's not a whole lot of mechanics you need to get into for this one. It's pretty just selecting the right base to do one on. Uh, but we are going to take a look at my attack that I did this war, because uh, I usually don't uh, mess with the Mass Witch that much, uh, but this base also called for it. Uh, you can see as I pause right here, um, right uh, there's the three Wizard Towers on the left, uh, there's th three Mortars kind of on the left, so uh, what I'm doing here is basically going to let my queen walk around to the left, as you'll see. Dropping down two balloons and a few minions. This is mainly just to create the funnel, uh, but obviously it's great to get that mortar taken out. Um, and then those minions going to create the funnel by taking out the few trash buildings up there. So there's a nice gap right there created by the balloons and the minions. Drop down the queen. Um, she's going to kind of take out these few buildings. And uh, it was a little bit close here, but luckily she does continue to make her way to the west here, right here. I was a little uh, afraid she might go back up to that gold mine, or to the gold mine, but she makes her way down south, which is awesome. Uh, she is taking a lot of damage right here. There was three point defense on her for a while. So just to be safe, I dropped the rage. Might not have needed it, uh, but better safe than sorry. Didn't need both ra uh, rages for my kill squad anyway. Uh, so Queen takes out that cannon, continues on her walk, um, taking out the splash damage, as you can see right here. I'm dropping down a few minions up top. Uh, that's basically just going to create the funnel for my main uh, push with the witches. Uh, you can see dropping the two golems right here, then one hog just to help take out that cannon. Um, I brought a few balloons just for the top part of the base. Splash damage is usually the biggest threat, right? uh, but also there's the threat of flanking or your kill squad being flanked by point defense. So that cannon and that archer tower up the, at the top there by the queen, they're definitely an, uh, could flank my witches because the witches will probably move forward towards the clan castle and when the skeletons will run out in front and the witches will be the first thing to be targeted by those two point defense. Uh, so I want to bring those balloons to make sure that the uh, all the defenses are in front of everything so the skeletons and the golems are tanking and the witches are safe behind. Drop the rage. Uh, my queen does go down. She lost all her healers, but she's basically done her job. She's gotten all that splash damage shaken out. Here come the few balloons, which I dropped. The king did go over anyway, but uh, the balloons are t uh, helping out, taking out a few cannons and stuff. Uh, that I dropped. The first jump was good. That second jump, if it was a little bit lower down, could have connected everything to that Tesla farm. And you can see right here, um, those golems and everything's ready to move into the Tesla farm compartment. But that jump uh, was placed badly. It doesn't quite extend into that bottom compartment. So everything has to kind of beat through this wall. That one balloon goes down to a... Um, to a black air bomb and everything's kind of stuck on these lava walls but luckily I have four witches out in front and uh, those skeletons are spawning fast enough plus those go the golemites are tanking a little bit uh, so there is you know six or five or there was five now six up uh, there was six now five point defense in the area um, but they can't quite take out the skeletons fast enough and finally they beat through that wall and they take out those Teslas. The king comes through as well. So everything kind of converges on the last few buildings here. Uh, but had that jump in place better, it probably would have been a lot smoother of an attack. 
Still though, that's the mass witch strategy. You can see it's very effective if you do it right against the right base. Um, just basically gotta make sure all the splash damage is on the right side of the base or the left side of the base. Just make sure it's on one side of the base or the top, bottom, whatever, and usually do a queen walk and take out the splash damage. You can also bring more hogs and not bring healers. Just send the queen in with the kill squad, with the witches and stuff, and then just drop two to three hogs on each of the splash damage if they're all able to be targeted uh, right away. So that way you can get the splash damage taken out and allow the queen to stay with your witches if that's what you prefer. Uh, but anyway, just use a combination, a combination of rages and jumps usually, however many jumps you need to connect pretty much the whole base. Uh, so that's the strategy. Hope you guys find this video helpful, and hopefully maybe you guys can use it in one of your uh, next clan war attacks. But uh, regardless, have a war recap of Cold September versus One Hive Genesis coming out soon, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.